The Sally Ellis Davis House in Milledgeville was a venue for a talk with a former student of Miss Davis. Naomi Brannon told an emotional story of her experience as a student in Milledgeville during the era of segregation and how one teacher challenged her to beat the odds. You, when you saw a Caucasian, a white person on the street, the black male supposed to get in the street. I didn't understand that during that time. Mm -hmm. And my father worked at, as I said before, at the Sanford building, and he would be carrying me to town. And when the, uh, they would, we would be on the sidewalk, and when the uh, whites would come up the sidewalk, he would take my hand, and he would get in the room. And uh, I would ask him several times, I was about five or six during that time, well, Dad, why would you, now we have to get in the road and we do that. He said, just the times, honey, we just have to do that. Mrs. Brannon spoke about her vivid memory of Miss Davis and the time she spent in her fourth grade class. Now, Miss Davis was a stern teacher, very stern. When I looked at that swing out there when I walked up, I thought about it. She used to like to sit on the porch. And she would rent rooms to others, but in the classroom, she did not want to hear any noise at all. And she wanted you to know your work or get your work when you get there. It was different. As I told you before, I never saw her smile. And I think she had a reason for that. Because sometimes now some of the children, if you smile at them or whatever, they think that you're joking. But see, she didn't have, and I can understand that now since I'm in education. Miss Davis was an inspiration to students like Miss Brandon because she believed that education could overcome any obstacle. Mrs. Brandon proved that to be true and she became a teacher herself. She wanted to inspire students in her classroom like Miss Davis inspired her. Reporting for GC360, I'm Abby Thompson.